Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video vlog. Here we are, it's Friday again. Feeling good. Feeling really good. You've been very poorly this week. I have, but now I just feel awesome. So uh, Fully recharged. Fully recharged, yeah. Maybe I needed it just to go, ready to go into the Christmas period. Um, but we've got some great stuff we're going to be talking about and showing you today. Yes. Um, I'm actually really excited about, well, I'm excited about all of these, but a couple of these. One's gone under the radar. Yeah. And one of them went under my radar. Yes. Until very recently. Uh, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So. Cool. And we've had a, a few questions about ID and uh, the method. As such. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to be showing you a different version because a lot of people, I, well, I, I can't go into without giving exposure, but if I do it this way, it should show you. Yeah, it's yeah, not what you should, think it is. Yeah, it should answer more questions for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, uh, I want to say a big thank you for everyone that joined us on the Academy on Tuesday night for the Chris Congreve commercial Killers. Uh, it was such a good Amazing. evening. Yeah, it, it was. really was. And you all got involved. This is what I love about the Academy. More and more each time we do it, your questions are really playing a huge part in the Academy. You yeah, know, and it, and it's great the interaction between us and you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, we we got some diehard fans uh, that have signed up for like every one so far, and we'll do. And uh, we really appreciate your support. Obviously, it's something new for us, but we're yeah. so excited about it, and we've got some massive plans for it in the future. Yeah. So. Um, and anyone that did sign up to it, you'll find the recorded version in your account now, so you can watch it back. I know a lot of people sort of join us live on the night, but do that more to enjoy being there, yeah. asking the questions, watching the tricks, getting amazed by them, but not concentrating too much on learning them. Yeah. Um, and then they watch, watch them back. back to yeah. learn it. So this coming Tuesday as well, we have another Academy course. We have Streamline Commercial Card Magic by John Carey. John's gonna be teaching you no less than 15 new effects of his. Brilliant. 15 effects and you can join us live you can learn that magic live and the good thing if you know anything about John Kerry and his magic is most of it is almost self-working yeah and what almost. I love about John is his style of teaching oh, it, it's just yeah. perfect you know it there's no stone left unturned and if you struggle learning stuff I mean number one it's the best environment because of all the different camera angles we got but John is great at breaking down finger placement hand movement and, and where to go. So yeah, if you've never done an academy, join us. If you've never seen John teach, join us, you won't yeah. be disappointed. Well, John's the first person that we've actually sort of awarded the core tutor status. Yeah. Um, which basically means you're gonna see regular courses coming up by John. Yes. Um, covering different aspects. He's got the commercial card magic, uh, which is happening this Tuesday. In December, he's running his coin course. Yeah. And big, big news, um, we managed to talk him into running the Zero to Hero again. That will be running in January, and it will go, go live on our site in December. Yeah. So that means if you're looking for a great Christmas present, yeah. get them to buy you the Zero to Hero. It's the perfect time for it to come out because you don't have to spend your money on it, get your family to buy you it as your Christmas present, yeah. which is great. But the course is amazing. Yeah, you know, the, the course the first time around, the six weeks was such a big commitment from everyone. Yeah. Um, and we genuinely had no plans to run it again. No. And I'll be honest with you, we genuinely weren't going to, and this will be the last time. And yeah. we can happily say that, with, you know. Well, it, we can't happily say it because you never know what happens in the future. But well, it, we haven't got plans to. And yeah. we certainly haven't. We didn't have plans to do this one. I know, but yeah, I mean, that's the, the thing is, though, it is such a commitment to do the six It is a very big For commitment. everyone. Um, there definitely aren't any plans to do it again. Yeah. I'm not saying, all right, that it never will happen. But And if it does happen, it, I, I would say it's most probably going to be once, once a year. Like Christmas. If, <laughs> yeah, if, if it is going to happen, it is a huge commitment. Yeah. Um, but it's such a phenomenal course. And the reason we are running it again is because we have had so many emails, so many phone calls. Yeah. Um, and the thing was, uh, it was like, it was the worst course to start with, but also the best course to start with. 
the, yeah. the the worst course in in the fact that no one knew about the academy. Didn't we didn't really know. We yeah. we had had testers that we had been doing. We got John down, me and you, sort of sitting there recording, streaming, everything else. So we knew it would work, but we didn't know how it would play out. Um, so we wanted to to do this this big huge one to start with because we wanted to hit with a big bang. But the problem is for everyone. That, that was our customers, they were going, wow, it's a hundred pound and I don't, don't know, know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in that instance, it was the worst thing to kick off with, but on the flip side, it was a great one to kick off, off with because it was such a phenomenal course. And also we learned so much as yeah. we were going along and that was due to the students that were taking part. Yeah. Because they would come out with comments like the overhead cam. Oh, it would be great if we could view it from your angle rather than the spectator's angle. So Harry, who does the editing, went, yeah, not a problem, bang, all yeah. it. So we were learning things along the way and it was the students, you guys, um, that helped us along the way because it was your ideas what would make things better for you that has now allowed it to yeah. become what it is. And we've also got these amazing new cameras uh, oh, yeah. now that we've been using for the academies and uh, yeah, this will be obviously the first time that the Zero to Hero is filmed on them as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, guys, just join us. If, you, if you've if you been thinking about it, Christmas is coming up. Now's the perfect time. I know we're going to do a special Christmas bundle as well. Yes. Uh, which is, look out for that. Um, that'll be on the site as well. Yeah, it will be early, early December once we've got everything finalised. And I will say this as well. For anyone that signed in to Zero to Hero the first time round, um, the... Graduation party, lesson six, is going to be completely different. Yeah. So you are going to have the option, and this is only for people that purchased um, the first the time first around. Area, yeah. You will get the option to purchase just the graduation party because it's completely different. Brilliant. Um, but if you want to join us for the entire six weeks again and do it again, and obviously you know how the academy is, um, depending on what questions get asked. Yeah takes us in different directions. So if you want to be part of it again, and you did it last time, uh, we will be offering a very special price to those people that had already done it. Yeah. So uh, okay. just let us know if it is saying it's going to interest you. But that's happening, but more to the point now, this coming Tuesday, we have got John Carey's uh, Streamline Commercial Card Magic. So if you haven't signed up, sign up now. If you don't know what the Academy is, you're still unsure about it, just go to the Academy section, there's a subcategory called past courses. Yeah. And just read some of the reviews of people um, that have been attending the courses and read some of Chris Congreve's as well. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, because it is phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. And in my opinion, it's the best way to learn. If you do one thing this Christmas, this is my advice, try just one academy course because yeah. you won't be disappointed. Um, yeah. They're amazing. So, moving on. Yes. Where shall we start? We'll start with this as well. Just another quickie. Uh, newsletter number two is in, but they are running out. Remember, this goes out in every single order. We do a new newsletter every month. New, new. New newsletter. Um, and it's full of interesting advice and tips and ideas. Um, there's also a section on the Academy. There's a free trick in there. Um, and aided is, every month by designer likes to mess with our pictures. Yes, he does. Apart from yours. Apart from which mine. Which looks perfect. Which I believe the Christmas one, I won't go unscathed. Ah, yes. Right. right okay. So, uh, anyway, they're in stock now. So, let's move on. Yes. To the products. Well, let's start with something that's gone under people's radars. Yes. And then we'll go on to the thing that's <coughs> gone under my radar. Yes. And I think you'll love it. Uh, and in between, you'll show us ID. Yes. So... Transcendence, shall we take a little look at the performance? Yeah. Yeah, it's very quick, but it's very, very cool. Let's take a look. A little trick with four sixes. Very free and fair, you can see that here. Just generally one, two, three, four sixes. This is all it takes. Did you see it happen? There's still four cards, but this time it's the four jacks. Right, so that was Transcendence. Yeah. And just to let you guys know as well, this was filmed, what, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. This, um, and at the time, we filmed about 14 or 15 effects 
by Peter Pelican, which will be coming out soon. It's been, our idea was to have one out every three months, yeah. but it hasn't quite panned out that way as we had one out and then we had loads of other projects coming. Yeah. Um, so the, the guy that was doing our editing, Vangelis or Titanus as a lot of you know him, uh, was doing other stuff and he couldn't get round to these. So um, you're gonna see his new effects popping up every now and then. Yeah, but this one, I mean, it is what you saw. It's straight to the point. Uh, you can change any four of a kind into any other four of a kind so you can adapt the routine. Uh, I definitely think that there's scope here as well for playing with the backs on yeah. them. Uh, so you'll be able to run with your imagination on that. Uh, you get what you need inside to get going uh, and it's very straightforward. Uh, it, there's no no frills here. It is, you see what you get, you get what yeah. you see. It's a, amazing visual magic. If you're on social media, uh, you've probably already seen it on mine or on Alakazam's because it just plays so well to camera, but it also plays great uh, in real life. Yeah. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And when he showed me it the first time, I remember just being blown away like, hang on. Yeah. Because it's at the end where he just drops them on the table yeah. and you go, sorry? <laughs> but he did that with every single trick. Yeah. Every trick. We were sitting there and you do feel that you come to a point where you think, well, I'm not going to be amazed anymore. Yeah. And then he'll do another one. And you do sort of sit there and think, um, all right, yeah, I know where this is going. Then he's always got this final kicker where you go, no, hang on, I've got no idea now. Yeah. And it, it was so good. I remember there was a couple of tricks like that where we were sitting there watching it and we were going, and they suddenly done something. We just look at each other like, oh yeah, yeah now they. Right, yeah, of jazz. course. Yeah. yeah, I think I said something like, yeah, of course they do. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I like about this as well, I think there's a lot of scope for uh, customizing this, especially if you're doing like trade shows or you're doing somebody's birthday or Christmas, where you have four blank cards and now you can show them, and then when you shake. They each have writing on them. We wish yeah. you a Merry Christmas from Alakazam. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. happy birthday, so and so. Uh, so I really think it's a great premise. It's a great, uh, it, it's amazing how it works. Yeah. And it's, and it's easy to do. Yeah, you imagine having uh, four jokers. Your jokers are wild. You get four cards selected. Yeah. Um, put back in the pack. Now you take the four jokers. Boom, boom, boom. And it turns into the four selections. You know, Perfect. how cool is that? Yeah. And um, yeah, and it's not difficult to do. No, obviously to camera that it was very quick, but you can play this in a larger, longer routine. Yeah, um, we know what you guys are like when you get your hands on stuff like this. We're constantly getting fantastic messages on Facebook or emails, uh, or in our groups on Facebook. The product ideas you always come up with good ideas, and I know you will for this. Uh, so that is Transcendence by Peter Pelican. Right. So now we're going to talk about ID. ID is our latest release this is uh, this came out two weeks ago we've done a live launch on this it was a week ago wasn't it was, was it, it last week was it last week or the week before? yeah it was last week was it yeah right okay last week uh, we did a live launch on this id um happy to say the reviews are coming in and yeah, the reviews yeah. are great just what we expected um but it, there were a few questions coming in uh, that thought i was doing something yeah. That I wasn't. I want to show you how easy and clean streamlined this yeah. is. All right. So we're going to go through a little performance, but I'm not going to put in the thing. The reason why I, I will explain this. The reason why I've done that on the trailer and is I made you choose each yeah. section of it is because I think the power of an effect like this, if you hit a table, is to get various people to make decisions. And we've always discussed this about getting people involved. Yeah. Um, but if you were doing it one on one, there's no need no. to do that. But obviously, uh, structuring a trick for lay people and then structuring a trick for magicians uh, are different, two kind of different things. Because yes. magicians will look at that and think one thing when actually it, it wasn't happening. Yeah. It was only to build the moment for the spectator. Yeah. So uh, this is why we're going to do this that should answer those questions for you. Okay, so now we'll go into a performance of ID. David, mm. um, over here in my wallet, I have one envelope. Inside this envelope, I have one playing card, okay? okay. We're gonna try something out here because I believe that I can pluck the faults from your mind and sometimes even pop them in. Ooh. Yeah? Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, I didn't want that for. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going on with that? Right, 
You ready? Yeah. Right, back on track. I want you to imagine in your mind you've got a deck of cards. They're not in a shuffled order, they're in a sort of new deck order. So they're, you've got all the number cards here, yes. all the aces, twos, threes, all the way up to tens, yes. and then we have the picture cards. I want you to see them all clearly in your mind. And now you're going to reach up and remove either the picture cards or the spot cards. Entirely up to you, totally free choice. I'm going to remove the picture cards. You sure? Yeah. Give them a shuffle in your hand. And I want you to fan them towards yourself. So you're going to see all the jacks, all the queens, all the kings, all the clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. So every picture card is there. Yes. Now you're just going to reach in and you're going to take any one of the picture cards and you're going to let the rest drop to the floor. You're going to make a decision on one card. Got it. Okay, so you have now chosen one card out of 52. Yeah. What was the name of your card? Shall we show you? Yeah, show me. I haven't got my glasses on. Ah, it's a jack of spades. Jack of spades? Yeah. Now remember, I said inside my wallet I had one envelope. Inside this envelope, I said I had one playing card. Would you be amazed if this was the jack of spades? I would be amazed. You would be amazed. Yeah. Now, bear in mind, you could have chosen any one of the 52 cards. Yes. But I said I was going to put a thought in your mind. Right. Did you pick it randomly? Or somehow did I oh. make you oh. pick nice. the jack? Of spades. It is great. It's such I love it. a brilliant effect. Yeah. It really is. It plays great. If you're doing tables, this will be a perfect opener. It plays now, big, it plays out as well. It because... plays out, it's all out here. Yeah. Um, and I was discussing this with a few people, and I know there's a few people on um, some of the forums going, I can't see the power or the added power of a card coming backside out. Right. And if you can't see, how much more powerful it is yeah. having the card there, building the suspense. Yeah. Remember, you chose anything. What do you think? Bang. Yeah. You know, because when a card comes uh, face side out, yeah. As soon as you open an envelope, they know. If I bring an envelope out and I go, oh, what can I say? Jack of diamonds. Oh, jack of diamonds. Look inside the envelope. They already know it's a jack of diamonds. Otherwise, I wouldn't be so confident. Yeah. Um, when it you're holding it up like this. Now there's still that question, because I can still play it up now and go, now you could have changed your mind, you could have chosen another card. If I was close, would you be happy with that? Yeah. How about if I was spot on? So you can still build yeah, yeah, that's great. while the card's out and you, you're clean. You are right, but like, um, it's normally the longer envelopes and you tip it out like this, yeah. right? But they were, you don't even need to tip the whole thing out, half of it comes out and they, they would go, oh yeah, it's my card. Yeah. So actually removing that and then placing it down is, is more of an app, you don't need to do that because yeah. they've seen what they need to see yeah, in the spectator's it. mind. Um, whereas with this, it's nice, you bring it out, you build the suspense, and then at fingertips, you turn it over. Yeah. It, it really is perfect, but it's each to their own, you know. And I, I just want to say, just in case anyone out there thinks, right, that was a really easy option that they took, that would have looked the same no matter what decisions you would have made. You, you oh, weren't the, playing along. No, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it weren't like, like, yeah, it weren't yeah. like David hit Lucky or David was playing along. Whatever Dave would have said in that first bit. You mean choice. the first bit? Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. It, it is any, yeah. yeah. So I see what you mean now because I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know <laughs> people will say, oh, well, Dave just said that. And if he would have chose something else, then it would have went right, on for right, two right. hours. No, 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 no. No, no we're not into that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it would have uh, played. But that's ID. It is very powerful if you're doing any sort of parlor uh, sort of um, act. If you're doing tables, it's perfect because it's up here. And like I said, if you get various people to start making the decision to form the card, it's great. You're getting people involved. For walk around, it's great as well because yeah, yeah. it's just in here. You don't need a table. You show it, put a card away, bang, Small you're done. Small point, but a big point as well. The envelopes are made of Tyvek, so yes. if you're working, you, you know, it's going to last a long, long time. And yeah. The red really stands out in the black, so if you are working the big banquet table, it gets right to the other side of the table. It's very visual, uh, and you get everything you need inside ready to go. So. Yeah. So that is ID. They're on our site now, and I will say as well, they are selling out very, very fast. And when these sell out, we will not have any more until at least uh, February, March 2018. Yeah. All right. So if you like it, get in and grab one. There you go. Right. So now on to an effect that you have been really taken with over the past sort of three or four weeks. Yes. Well, there's been two actually. This mm. and our new release. Uh, oh. 
Ah. You put them in there? Yeah. They're back in. Oh, they're back in there. <laughs> All right. So th- this is incredible. This is our new release, which is coming out oh. when? Don't. You yeah, look very worried. <laughs> you look very worried that I've got these out all of a sudden. Right. So these, we'll <laughs> tell you a little bit about this. I'm not going to tell you too much. I'm not trying to hype it or anything else. But um, this is our next release. This is something we've been working on for a long time with a great magician oh. called Richard Gerrish. Um, we're glad to say they are finally, finally ready. You guys are going to love this, um, We are going to be doing a live launch with this in around about two weeks' time. So you'll be able to join us live. You'll get the world premiere of the trailer. You'll be able to join us in an after show where we give you an unboxing, teach you how it works. Um, it's great. If you do close-up magic, close-up mentalism, even parliamentalism, this is great and it's fun and it uses an object that I presume everyone is aware of or at least heard of. And easy. And it's really yeah. easy. And it's so, not only that, it is so clever. Yeah. It is so, so Very clever. Good. I still have no idea how Rich worked it out. I, I, I still don't know how he worked out. I don't um, know where he would have been up with that. No, no. Yeah. but it, it's great. So keep your eye out for it. It's coming soon. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> do not do it again. It teaches me not to put the cards back in it. I thought because you checked them last time they were empty, you were just ignoring them. One fell, fell over. I was like, oh, I, I felt I'm in there. Anyway, um, so on to what I wanted to speak about. Yes. Now, very recently, some of you may know that I have learned how to do the Rubik's Cube. Yes. And I always thought it was a mega difficult thing to do. But a lot of my friends down here in Kent are doing it and I wanted to give it a go. Found out it actually isn't as difficult as I thought it first was to yeah. solve the cube. But I wanted to solve the cube first before learning tricks with it. And then I came across this trick where one of the first things he sort of says is that you don't need to know how to do the cube to do this. Right. And I went, oh, so, you know, I spent a couple of days learning it. But I learn it now, I know it now, which is good, because if ever I, I made a mistake, I can rectify it. But yeah. I didn't need to be able to do it to do it. And then my friend Neil Granger showed me this trick uh, at one of our club nights. Yeah. And I was like, I need to, I need to learn that. It was amazing, just awesome. So I'm going to show it to you, and then we're going to speak a little bit about it. Right, so, so here it is. Peter. David. Don't know if you're aware, but I like puzzles. You do like puzzles, you keep telling me. I don't know if I've told you that before. Uh, but I've actually taken up a puzzle very recently. It's one of the most difficult ones to do. Mm-hmm. 43 quintillion uh, possibilities of solving the Rubik's Cube. All right. Now there are actually, believe it or not, and this is true, championships at solving cubes. Yeah, I do believe that, I know they exist. So uh, one of them is to actually just solve the cube, who could do it the quickest, and these guys can do it in like seconds. And another one is like different categories, one's like solving with your feet, and another one is what I'm really interested in today. And this is what these cards come from. Now I've got these on eBay, these are from the 2015 Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil World Championship. Right. Challenge cards, so basically what these are is like a memory test. Uh, this cube on the picture has been mixed and the idea is that you're allowed 10 seconds to look at these pictures and you have to replicate it. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, This is to show a little bit of skill. So I'm going to try and do this first. Then I'm going to show you something I find quite magical with it. Okay. So you have a free choice of any one of these cards. So grab any one of these you like. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I also, of course, have the cube as well. Uh, show the sorry, show the guys at home, let them see. It's important I don't see it until, obviously, I'm allowed by 10 seconds, all right? Okay, yeah. So, let's try this. You're gonna show me the card, I'm gonna take in what you show me, and I'm gonna try and replicate exactly what is on that card. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, show me. How long? 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Eight, that was. Eight seconds? Yeah. All right, allow me one more. I was counting. I got none. I'm good. All right, <laughs> let's okay. give this a go. I think I've got it in here, so I'm going to give this a go. Uh, this is from memory, it's very difficult. So, one, two, three. I think, I think if we do this. So, I don't even really need to look at it because I am trying to get it from, uh, from memory. 
And... Okay, perfect. I think I have it. Okay. <laughs> I think. I, I think didn't even it. look, so I don't know. Okay, so you got three sides there. Let me see if I can put this into the position. Now, this looks all completely mixed and shuffled, but it is shuffled into an order. I particular. can see similarities here. All We've right. got, uh, if we have a look on this side here, we've yeah. got three oranges. Yeah. We've got green, white, green, which I've got orange, white, white. Yeah. Um, and then if we turn it there, <laughs> we've got red, yellow, yellow, white, blue, white, 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 blue. Perfect. Quite cool, right? Yeah, that's great. And uh, even the top. Even from... Got I don't know why I'm tilting the car <laughs> forward. That's <laughs> it. And that's going to make it easier for, the, for you to see the top. But we've got red, red, green, uh, blue, red, green, green, blue, green. That's great. Go. Pretty cool, right? But <laughs> that's great. That could just be seen as, you know, um, no social life. Yeah. All right. And actually just practicing. And that, that's... A, an impressive feat, but I'm going to show you something I find quite magical because mm -hmm. obviously this is a solve, but it's not the solve. I'm mm -hmm. solving it to look like this. I'm not solving the cube. Okay? Yeah. So what I'm going to try and do is solve the cube in front of you. And when I do this, it's going to happen in a way just about <laughs> here. Now that solves the cube on all of the sides just like this. Now solving one cube is quite difficult. Yeah. But one of the competitions, they'll line up several different cubes in a row and have to solve all these cubes. Yeah. What well, if I was to tell you I could do 25 quite quickly? How quickly? That quickly. Because all these are now sold. Completely let me, let me sold. Let show these to camera because I think <laughs> they're out of shot. But every single one of these cards is now a solved cube. Solved cube. Solved cube. There you have it. That is... Great. And that is Cube Cards uh, by Kev G. I absolutely love this. Right, so that was Cube Cards. Yeah, I mean, you see it there. It's just a phenomenal piece of magic. Uh, first, you show a little bit of skill, but yeah. to them anyway, because you're putting the cube into the order of the random card they picked. Yeah. Uh, must say as well, dead easy to do that bit. All yeah. right, it looks complicated. Looks like you need to learn lots of different uh, movements and stuff very easy and then you get that uh, amazing visual uh, change again very simple and then you that's get... very simple even if you don't know how to do a cube yeah you don't right. need to, that's the thing right you yeah. don't need to know how to solve a cube in order to do that effect yes. right and I and that would have put me off first off looking at that and going I'm not he's got to learn this and learn yeah. that you haven't right it's very straightforward what you're you're doing um, and then that kicker at the end where all the cards solve just brings this sort of uh, sort of intelligent feat that you've done into this moment of magic that you just go, wow. Yeah. So you get the moment that it matches, the moment that the cube changes, and the moment that the cards go. It's just a three-phase yeah. thing that isn't a typical pick-a-card trick, which we all look for. And I absolutely love it. Now, the cubes, uh, you can do this with... with Sort of any Rubik's cube, but he does recommend what they call a speed cube, yeah. uh, and you could pick speed cubes up on eBay for a few quid. Yeah, uh, they're not expensive. Um, and and it, the thing is, with the speed cube, they just they're a lot smoother. Yeah, they've yeah, got a lot smoother action. The old Rubik's, I mean, I remember them when they first came out, <laughs> um, and they were sort of <laughs> yeah. Whereas these, are the, very, these are just you know, yeah. they're, they're they're great. So just for a few, there's so many different options out there. Don't get too hit up in that like I did. Yeah. I got one with a really cool looking box because uh, that's what sold it to me. Had a magnet clip. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. Any speed cube will do. Um, but you you get in Kev's complete. Uh, routine here, uh, loads of extra ideas as well. You get extra cards in here for different routines and to get your mind going creative. Uh, Kev's done an amazing job with this. Kev G, I think his name is. Yeah. And uh, he explains it really well. You get everything you need here minus the cube. Yeah. All right, so all you do is just add any. So if you've bought cube three, you've already got the cube. You've already got it. And I know a lot of people have a cube lying around the house. So yeah. even if you've got a, an old Rubik's cube, although they are clunky, you, you can still be able to practice with it. Yeah. Um, it's just something different. I've it's, been. 
It's really nice because with, um, especially with cube magic, it, sometimes it's hard to make it look like magic rather than skill. Yeah. With this, you are showing skill, you're doing the demonstration. Yeah. Then you've got that lovely change up here, which does look magical. People might go, oh yeah, but he's just changing it. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because your big kicker, it's still impressive, it still looks great, yeah. but your big kicker is this, and that is obviously magic. The cards yeah. were mixed and now they're all sold. Uh, let me so, say this as well, right? I, on learning the cube, uh, I could solve it in about under two minutes now, yeah. right? But obviously when I was learning, it was a bit over two minutes. And people would sit there, my friends and family, I was showing them, and watch me solve it for two minutes. And yeah. then when I solved it, they go, they got a huge reaction. Like, oh my God, I can't believe it's over it's cute. So now you've got a routine, which not only gives you the visual solve, you match their card and then you get magic at the end. Yep. It just ticks all the boxes and yep. gets amazing reactions. And uh, I'm really, really excited to, to add this into repertoire this Christmas. Yep. Uh, I cannot wait. So yeah, can't recommend this highly enough. I know we've got 24 of these and that's we, what we've got. Yeah, we've got 24 um, on the site now and we are giving a great Alakazam bonus. With yes, this. of course, I nearly forgot. Yes, so if you purchased, um, or if you purchase one of those 24 cube cards from Alakazam Magic, you will have uh, the Rubik's Remembered streaming video popped into your account. Now the great thing about Rubik's Remembered is that will teach you how to do a cube and a brilliant effect with it. So not only will you learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube, yeah. but you'll also be able to do a fantastic effect with it that would lead on or follow on from this. Exactly, that's what's so, yeah, <coughs> brilliant. Because I know some people uh, may want to solve the cube as well, because it, he does say on here, if you do make a mistake and you're left in a position where you need to resolve the cube, there is an app um, yeah. and it's very simple. You type in what you see, uh, and it will tell you how to solve it. Yeah. But if you want to solve it, and it is a fun thing to do, and people get amazed by it, even if it takes you two and a half minutes, you know, uh, then yeah, we're throwing in the streaming video of Mark teaching you how to solve it. And I know a lot of people that have learned it from Mark's yeah. method. Yeah, yeah, when we first bought it out, everyone was cubing. Yeah. You know, everyone was learning that. So there we go, guys. A great offer for you um, as a way of saying thank you for buying from us. And I just wanted to rebring this to your attention because it just got brought to mind. Uh, so that is Cube Cards and Rubik's Remembered, remembered um, on our site now. Right, so that is it for this week's Alexam video blog. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, remember, if you're on Facebook, pop over to Alakazam Limited, our main page, and hit that big thumbs up button and that counter will go up because when we reach 13,000, which won't take too long because we're no. getting about 70 or 80 a week, yeah. we're gonna have another mega Alakazam giveaway. Um, and there are a lot of people that aren't on Facebook. Yeah. So we may actually do it in their accounts this time. Oh, we'll cool. see, we'll, we'll yeah. see what we can do. Um, the other thing as well to keep note of is this Tuesday, we've got the Academy with John Carey. So if you haven't signed up to Academy, uh, an Academy yet, sign up. I still believe it's on the early bird price that should have went off last week. I'm gonna leave it running till Monday morning, then it's coming off. Wicked. So you've got this weekend to get it at only 19.99 and it goes back up to its normal price of 24.99. They don't even watch it live. No. Oh, it oh, went down. Oh, it went down, that's not nice. That's not nice, Go and, is it? So yeah, they're not, they're not watching live. How could you have known? <laughs> um, so yeah, do that. And also in December, <coughs> we are gonna have an Alexam Live Christmas party. Um, tickets will be available on our website. It's a virtual party. All you need to do is pick up a ticket that will give you access. On a certain date, we'll uh, release the date soon. You can join us live um, via your Alexam account where we're gonna have uh, a few magicians here doing tricks, might even be teaching tricks. We're gonna have some banter, we're gonna have some reviews, a bit Give like one of our live shows, and we're gonna have some big, impressive Christmas giveaways. Yeah. So, um, make a note in your diary and watch out for that ticket on our website because the tickets will be limited because of our bandwidth. So we don't crash. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so yeah, it will be first come, first serves. And remember, 
Uh, the Alexam newsletter issue two is now available. Every order you place, you'll receive one of these. Um, and uh, we are currently working on the December bumper issue. Oh, very yeah, nice. Should be good. Well, we're going to be back next week. Yes. Uh, we're back on Tuesday afternoon with our usual Facebook live show. We're back Tuesday evening at the Alexam Academy, and we'll be back next Friday with the Alexam vlog. They're going to be going out on Fridays now. Friday afternoon, the, the vlog will go live. So watch out every Friday. Um, and then that's about it. Really. Brilliant. Thank you so much again, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, please like this video, allow your notifications so uh, you'll know when we either go live or come onto YouTube. And thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you next week on the Alexam video blog.